everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys using the one and only the Lorac Pro 2 palette. And oh my god, I'm seriously obsessed with this palette. The colors are so pigmented and so creamy and super easy to blend. So I had such a great time filming this video for you guys. I think this will be perfect for the fall. So I will link down in the description box below where you can find this palette. And yeah, let's just get started and jump right into the tutorial. I'm going to begin with applying an eyeshadow primer all over my lid and I'm using the Lorac Pro eyeshadow primer because I want my eyeshadow to stay on all day long. And for a sharper and clean look, I recommend applying a tape on the corner of your eyes. And for my brow bone highlight, I'm using the color Buff from the Lorac Pro 2 palette. Then I'm gonna go in with the color light brown and I'm just going to apply this all over my crease. You wanna blend as much as you want. I love blending a lot because I love to have a very clean look. After I'm done blending and I'm happy with how it looks, I'm gonna go in with the color rose and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. I'm absolutely obsessed with this color. It's like a champagne rosy pink color and I'm also gonna apply this on the inner corners of my eyes. Then I'm gonna go in with the color charcoal and I'm just going to apply this on the outer corners of my lid. I'm gonna create sort of a triangle shape and I'm gonna fill it in. And I'm also gonna work my way halfway through my crease. And I'm just going to pack on that same color. And after I'm done applying that color, I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm just going to blend everything in my crease. You wanna make sure you don't blend anywhere above it because then you're just gonna smush everything out. And I want to highlight and make it look more smoky, so I'm going to take the color black and I'm just going to create another triangle on top of the one that I already made and I'm just going to color it in. And you don't have to worry about having a perfect line or anything like that because that's why we have the tape there for security. Taking that same brush that I used to blend in the colors, I'm just going to blend in that black color with the charcoal and the light brown that I initially put on my crease. Then I'm going to pack on a little bit more of that rosé color and I'm just going to not even apply a little bit more, but just work it in under my lower lashes because I am going to blend it with the dark eyeshadow as well. And of course, I have to go in with my favorite eyeliner at the moment, which is Inglot 77 Eyeliner. It's so creamy and super easy to blend. You don't even have to like pull your eyelids like I usually do. It just goes on perfectly on top of eyeshadow or anything that you have on your lids. I'm also going to apply this on my waterline because it just completes the look right away. Then I'm going to take a, a round small brush and I'm going to use the color charcoal and I'm also going to blend that in under my lower lashes to smoke it out a little bit more. And I'm not going to apply a ton of eyelashes because I am going to apply falsies. So right now I'm using my Milani mascara and these eyelashes are so pretty. Like I just am absolutely in love with them and they look super natural as well. And then I'm going to remove my tape and look how much of a difference it makes. It looks so so clean I am obsessed with these colors and then I'm going to take a wipe and I'm just going to clean off any excessive eyeshadow that might have fell off while I was applying it on my lids then I'm going to go in with my pore finisher by L'Oreal and this really helps with hiding my pores and just as a primer on my face so that's what I'm doing right now and then I'm going to go in with a concealer and this is my MAC Studio Fix Concealer and I'm just going to hide all of my spots on my face and I'm also going to hide my under eye circles because this works amazingly to hide any imperfections that you might have and it also works perfectly under foundation because I feel like once you put it on before the foundation you won't need as much foundation after you apply it all over your face. And for foundation, I'm using my Revlon Color Stay in the color Cool Warm. And this, it looks a little bit lighter on screen, but it goes on perfectly and it oxidizes. So you don't really have to worry about buying a darker shade. 
And for concealer, I'm using my LA Girl Cosmetics Concealer in the color Creamy Beige. And I really love this because it hides my under eye circles and it also highlights my face. Then to set everything into place, I'm using this setting powder by Rimmel and it's my absolute favorite. I've owned it for such a long time and I feel like this is one of my holy grail drugstore products. And of course, I'm going to contour my face. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, which is um, my current favorite. I'm like obsessed with it. Then I'm going to create a three shape like I always do on my face and this just works perfectly and so easy. To contour and it makes it so easy for me as well and then I'm gonna go in and contour my nose because I always do that and you guys know that and it changes up your face so much so if you haven't tried it you should totally try it right now then I'm gonna go in with this concealer and I'm just gonna highlight under my eyes just quickly because I want that sort of um, Kim Kardashian glow and then I'm gonna set it all in with the banana powder from my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette for blush, I'm using this really pretty washed out pink shade from my Real Techniques Natural Palette and I'm so obsessed with it, like it looks so pretty on camera and in person and this, is, this palette has also become one of my favorites. Then to highlight on, on my face, I'm using my Soft and Gentle by MAC Cosmetics and another one of my favorites of course. Then I'm gonna go in and just take my headband off and apply my lipstick. For my lips, I'm using this lipstick by BH Cosmetics, which I'm absolutely in love with them. I have the entire collection and every single lipstick is super creamy and so soft to put on your lips. And I'm gonna top that off with my MAC Viva Glam 2 lipstick and that completes my look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am seriously obsessed with this palette. I might create a few more tutorials with it because it just looks so beautiful and the colors are gonna be so awesome for the fall time. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.